Welcome to Good Food News, a show where we talk about the cool and positive things happening in food. I'm Chef Jorge Cespes and these are my favorite stories of this week. Oh, hi guys. Our first story of the week is about everyday joints. Now, when was the last time you got a coloring book and you just allow yourself to spend hours on end playing and coloring and just being joyful? Well, the guys from Smuckers did these really cool activity booklets and they're sending them to healthcare and long-term facilities for folks to just have a little stress release and some good old fun. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish mine because um, my mom said I'm a really good painter, so I'm gonna send these flowers to my mom. But anyway, guys, we wanna thank Smuckers for the really cool creative thinking. This is the sort of ideas we're looking for, so keep them coming. Our second story of this week is about how restaurants are coming up with creative and unique ideas to keep their business going, but most importantly, to retain as much of their staff as possible. This restaurant group out of Chicago teamed up with Gordon Food Service to provide 500 plus of their employees with a grocery bag filled with healthy and unique items. Now, who wouldn't love to get that from their employer? Oh, look at that. Well, let me see. Oh my God, coffee. Yes, perfect. Um, a little milk with my coffee is normally what I like to do. Oh, that's a lot of milk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bread. That goes perfectly. Oh my God, martinis. They know me so well in this company, you know. Now, if I could just get a little food. Oh, chicken would be great. Mm -hmm. And just a little bit of wine. But how am I supposed to drink this without a gl Oh, thank you, hand. Anyway, on behalf of 500 very happy employees, thank you for what you did. Are you guys missing restaurants as much as I am? Our third story talks about how there has to be a certain amount of distance between tables in restaurants, which limits the amount of people a restaurant can sit. Well, the village of Hinesville, Illinois, decided they were gonna take some action with that. They started closing down sidewalks, streets, even parking lots, so restaurants could put more tables all around. What a fun experience. I hope I get to see that one day. Anyway. I feel like, have I even ordered, where's my wine? Waiter, waiter, am I, who works here? This place is empty, this is insane. Wait a minute, is this a restaurant? Oh my God, am I in a parking lot? Oh, what is, it? oh. Guys, this is Good Food News, thank you, see ya, bye.